Today we're going to show you the true essence of Dalian. A city with more names than a fantasy novel, more character than a creaky old English mansion, and more slogans than an American multinational. This place is cool and confusing in equal measure, but thankfully... Today we're not alone. We're joined by our friend... Phoebe! <laughs> You may remember Phoebe. <gasps> well, Dalian is her hometown. Are you going to show us some dope <laughs> today, Phoebe? Duh. <laughs> For those of you who don't remember, Phoebe is rather, um... You're traveling with someone whose middle name is Spontaneous. <laughs> wow, she's sassy, isn't she, this Phoebe girl? It's a hotel, duh. But we wouldn't have it any other way because we know there's only one person who can help us cut through the marketing spiel and help us to discover the true essence Dalian. Blooming hell, Alexis. Maybe I should take my shoes off. Whoa, this car is so fancy. Sorry, my dad has so much crap I didn't realize. <laughs> Phoebe, are you a good driver? I am. I mean, I drove in America for over 10 years. I just don't know like the, the roads well in China and the the rules. The only rule you need to know is the rule that you can't start a road trip on an empty stomach. I've never had a jambing before that's got potato in it, so I'm actually very, very excited. So good. The sauce is really tangy and then just like a little bit of spice. Oh, real good. How's yours, Phoebe? So good. Yeah, even with the egg. <laughs> We're all getting another one. We decided to share and it was not enough, so we're going to get another two. I just love jumping. Not just jumping, it's jumping with soul. So good. No regrets. Oh, I'm not a jumping in time and it is amazing. <laughs> you chill ball, ma? Chill Bit windy to fly the drone, I'm reckoning, uh, which is a real shame because it's absolutely amazing looking bridge over there. Well, a spot of wind has never stopped him before. And what else are we gonna do? Go swimming? Ah, that's more like it. The Dalian Xinghai Bridge is an ambitious mega project that helps motorists to bypass Dalian's busy city centre by allowing them to nip from one end of the bay to the other. Oh my days, that is one for all of you infrastructure bros out there. That was an insane bridge. It's really giving me the Hong Kong Macau Zhuhai Bridge vibes. What made this one extra special was the fact it was double layered. So on the bottom with the cars going one way, on the top with the cars going the other way. What a great idea. Honestly, they should build more sea bridges like that. So you only need to build one set of pylons. And yes, we will of course be driving across it. Oh, what a lovely little spot that was. It looks beautiful over there, like Hawaii. Call me crazy, but I could kind of imagine coming back here in 40 or 50 years time and spotting Phoebe there, uh, sat down, watching the bridge, as her husband goes and swims to catch her dinner for her. <laughs> I can really see it. <laughs> anyway, to the bridge. Join the bridge, Nico. Such a big, isn't it? Four lanes. Not sure that was quite the enthusiastic answer Jack was looking for. How are you enjoying the bridge, Phoebe? Trying to keep my speed limit under control. Well, I for one thoroughly enjoyed my trip over the bridge, even if it did go by a little bit too quick. Be careful what you wish for, Jack. So, oh my god! So what just happened, Phoebe? I think Phoebe took a wrong turn because we're going back over the bridge. <laughs> Third time lucky guys, we're going over the bridge for the third time. <laughs> you can do it, Phoebe. You can do it. Okay, we're coming off the bridge. We are coming off the bridge. Come on, Phoebe. <laughs> you got this, Phoebe. You got this. Come on. Okay, I think we're safe. I think we've done it, guys. But turns out the adventure wasn't over yet. Currently driving up to the top of a mountain. Um, I've not seen any other cars. So I don't know if it's strictly allowed, but... It's allowed! Do you see taxi? Phoebe is a very good citizen. What, Gemma Shen Li? There's a pretty big space, come on. Despite driving part of the way up the hill, it turns out we still had a shortish hike up to the top. 
Wow, these Dalian and locals are just too strong and too fit. Just can't even keep up with her. Blow my neck. Enjoying the hike, Nico? Yeah, it's beautiful. Well, we can't really see much, but maybe when we get to the top, we can. Whoa. 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 Beautiful. But an overcast view of the bridge is not what we hold our asses up here for. Health, wealth, love. What would you write if you were to write one today? Maybe like a billion dollars. To live happy and comfortably with lots of money. <laughs> Sounds like I'm out for the day with a couple of gold diggers. They're certainly hanging out with the wrong person if they're, they come here with me. Well, the gold diggers are about to get their own back on Jack for his sarcastic comments. Oh dear, I'm not sure I uh, much fancy going up there to be honest. No man, we're good at that one. If it was a clear day, yeah. it really would feel like uh, Hawaii, wouldn't it? Now I just feel like Seattle. Yeah. Sorry, you only get Seattle today. As you guys well know, I'm not a massive fan of heights, so going on the roof wasn't exactly my cup of tea, but thankfully they do have a cup of coffee just down below, so I'm gonna sit and enjoy this and watch the view from a safe spot. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> well, it looks fancy, doesn't it? I got a caramel macchiato. Oh. <laughs> Here's caramelly. I got an absolute one. <laughs> Oh, so what's the plan now then, ladies? Well, the weather's not looking great, so what should we do, Phoebe? The beach, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Although we didn't get far because Jack spotted something rather intriguing on the way back down. Okay, just one quick detour. I've just spotted something that we need to take a closer look at. Oh my God, is that a castle? But I think it is, you know. I think we need to take a closer inspection, Nico. Jack, what is it? All I can tell is that it's some sort of Disney castle smack bang in the middle of Dalian. It's a hotel, duh. <laughs> wow, she's sassy, isn't she, this Phoebe girl? But so is Jack. I feel like your taste in the music is very like American dad. No, it's not. I don't, I don't like this. Anyway, back to our beach mission. This doesn't look like the beach, Phoebe. This looks like a theme park. Are you taking us to a theme park? Get in there, girl. Jack loves a theme park, don't you, Jack? Tall heights, scary rides, rip-off prices. Yeah, what's not to like about a theme park? Judging by its empty rides, the people of Dalian agree. They all seem far more interested in a much cheaper activity. And there's bear seagulls in Dalian. So many birds here. It is no wonder, because there's a lady over here selling meat and sticks, and then people are buying the meat, putting it on sticks, and holding it up for the seagulls to attract them. Honestly, you're asking to get shit on your head. I've also seen people holding up all sorts of types of human food, which is definitely uh, not very safe or good for the animals, but hey, not my place to interject, is it? It feels like I'm at the British seaside with this weather. One thing we're missing though is our tour guide. Where's she gone? She's gonna pick us up some nice tasty Dongbei food. Oh, here she is. We've got the goods. First up, some kind yeah. of stuffed cornbread. How about hot chair? I like the filling. I don't like the outside. Maybe a sweet red bean roll would be more up my street. I like the inside. The inside's really good. Mm. And for dessert? Um, it's no Mr. Willie. We're on the beach! Why? Because this is the essence of Dalian. Don't you guys think this looks like the bridge in Busan, Korea? Um, no comment. It's pretty warm, like, you could totally swim in that. A little shame about the weather, but what a beautiful beach. Where's next, Phoebe? We're going back on the road. On the road to the car. Much like its southern namesake, Hong Kong, Dalian city center is surrounded by lush hills dotted with charming villages and hidden bays. This would be so nice on a clear day. Not much view. Let's go. Uh, Come on. <laughs> to <laughs> to the next spot. 
Dalian just loves a statue. Absolute bear statues in Dalian. If you like statues, come to Dalian. And not to worry if boats are more your thing. Is it possible to go to Korea from here, Phoebe? Yeah, you can. You can take a ship. You can take a ship? Yeah. That must be why Dalian people are so well dressed. Well, yeah. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> High level bar wining. Where are we? Germany. <laughs> or Amsterdam? <laughs> I'm so confused where we are right now. Man, this is just a crazy juxtaposition with these old European style wooden clad buildings. But meanwhile, a very much working fishing harbour. We're literally still seeing fishermen going out to sea, coming back, and it looks like the fishermen's wives are flogging their wares down at the seafront. I reckon in Dallin you could get some pretty fresh and tasty seafood. Oh, beautiful. I mean, Phoebe, this is such a beautiful sunset. <laughs> but now that the sun has well and truly disappeared, what's next on the itinerary? We go eat. Oh, yes. And Jack breathed a sigh of relief when he realised that we were going for the Dongbei classic iron pot stew, not seafood. I've not needed to think at all today. Phoebe's just taking care of everything. Do you guys want beer? Yeah. yeah. So for the uninitiated, iron pot stew is a big, hearty stew cooked in, um, an iron pot. So I've noticed three things about Dalian. They absolutely love a slogan. They love a sculpture. And I'll tell you what else they love, potato. Potatoes are in everything. <laughs> I can't you. No shade, no shade. I love a potato. I also love a bun that is freshly baked on the side of a pot. And Phoebe loves this. It's <laughs> my favorite Dongbei coat dish. So this is like thousand year egg. You can see through it. Normally an egg to me on the outside is white. So yeah, I'm intrigued. It smells very vinegary. Oh, it tastes like jelly. Three of the five, not very flavorful. Not to worry, the stew should be ready to eat now. Not bad. My whole family eats this cornbread, corn bean. Yeah. Actually, they eat it like three meals a day. <laughs> three meals a day. Talking of Phoebe's family, she has the cutest yeah yeah who invited me to watch him do some calligraphy when we first arrived in Dalian. Yeah. Mm. Really tasty, really hearty. And those sweet potato noodles, just like soak in all the juices. Amazing. That's yours. Not super flavorful. If there's one thing you need to know about having Chinese friends is that they will not let you leave their hometown until your stomach is ready to burst. So the following evening, Phoebe insisted we meet back up so she could introduce us to some of her favorite childhood dishes. This is like the most Dongbei thing you can ever find. Oh yeah? That's the tofu skin. Uh -huh. Really like, I grew up eating it. So it's cooked with chicken soup. <laughs> and then that's like the potato starch. It almost tastes like thicker liang pi. Then they put different sauce. They put sesame sauce, which is oh, your yes, favorite. Yes, yes, yes. That and sounds amazing. Garlic. Oh. So that oh, is okay. good. That's also like the best thing in Italian. So. I think my outfit is complete. Yeah. <laughs> I must look so stylish right now. <laughs> Mm. I'm really, really tasty. Mm. It's actually very tender, chewy, very flavorful. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. 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 What is this, Phoebe? Oh, sh**. <laughs> being too busy being a lady over here. Sweet potato starch. I've never had it like this before. Mm. Oh, my days. That is good. It basically, like, just soaked in ma jiang. Mm. That's so like homey and warming. If you were kind of sick, that would be such a nice dish. I can imagine in winter, that is amazing. It's like chicken noodle soup. So I think their tofu skin is pretty good, pretty soft, pretty tender, and also very flavorful. But we're not done yet. 
Next on the menu is... Kolomian. Kolomian. Without egg again. Because Jack doesn't eat egg, but we're going to get mushrooms in it. Mm, not the best, but the noodles is a bit too chewy, maybe because there's no egg. <laughs> As you'll see next, Phoebe isn't scared to share her opinion. It's chicken and then they dip into the platter and then they fry it. You gotta film it! Go, 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 film! No, go, go around! It's like little chicken goujons. Italian fried chicken. EFC. 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 Mmm! Very tender. You, you do it with one bite, girl. Oh! My stomach is definitely full now, but a Chinese friend will never let you leave their hometown without buying some gifts for your family. So we're going on a late night shopping mission. It's a good job we've got Phoebe because we would never find this on our own. That food street, yeah, we might have ventured there, but down here, definitely not. Phoebe! Phoebe! Where are you? <laughs> Seriously, Phoebe! I'm still not sure she even knows where we're going. So we've known Phoebe for several years, but who knows? Can we trust her? Is this just an elaborate trap? Is she leading us to our fate? But Jack soon felt more comfortable. Oh. <laughs> Way. <laughs> Aha! There's the mall. Dry fish crisp. And you take this on holiday with you? Oh yeah, I eat this with, when I watch a movie. Yeah. <laughs> this is my popcorn. Dry, dry fish. <laughs> meet, meet this, my popcorn snack. I'm sure our family will be thrilled, as am I, because with Phoebe's help, I finally felt like we discovered the true essence of Dalian. Let us know which city we should explore next. Bye!